Okay, now we're doing order of operations, the second problem type. So that's what we're looking at in this video. And our example, we're asked to use order of operations to evaluate the following expression, which has a lot of things going on in it. And one of the things right away I notice is that it has parentheses inside of parentheses. So I'm just going to remind you of our steps for order of operations. We have P for parentheses, E for exponents, multiplication and division get done at the same time, and addition and subtraction. Many of you remember this by please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I like to write it this way so that it clearly shows you that multiplication and division get done together and addition and subtraction get done together, not addition and then subtraction. But we notice at the top of our list, we have parentheses. That's where we need to start. And when we look at these parentheses, we see that we have parentheses inside of parentheses. So just like trying to break your way out of jail, we have to start off in the innermost sanctum. So we're going to start off with the innermost parentheses, which is this one right here. That's where we start. So in the first step, that's all I'm going to do. And again, I'm doing parentheses because it's at the top of my list for order of operations. So I'm going to write down everything else the same. We have three times, but now 13 minus 4 inside those parentheses, I can go ahead and do that. 13 minus 4, that is 9. And once I've done the subtraction, I no longer need those parentheses. So 3 times 9, I bring down everything else, plus 8, close that bracket, and I've got the divided by 7 outside. Okay, so we have done our first parentheses, and now we look at what we have, and we see that we still have parentheses. I mean, those brackets are parentheses, but I have two things going on inside. I have multiplication and I have addition. And my guiding rule is over here on the left-hand side, order of operations. Multiplication and division comes before addition and subtraction. So this needs to be the next thing that I do. So again, I'm only going to do that one operation in my next step. 3 times 9 is 27. I'm going to bring down that bracket plus the 8. I'm going to bring that down and divide it by 7. Now, notice I'm still working on the parentheses, but I'm trying to do the different things inside of the parentheses. So I have to keep referring back to my order of operations. But this time, inside the parentheses, I only have one operation. So there's only one thing I can do. I have to do that addition next. 27 plus 8, that gives me 35. And at this point, I have done everything inside of those parentheses, so I no longer need to write the parentheses. But I do need to bring down that divided by 7. So we have followed the order of operations inside that parentheses until it is gone. I no longer have any parentheses. I don't have any exponents. But I do have division, and it's the only thing that I have left. So 35 divided by 7, that's all I have left to do. 35 divided by 7 is 5. And I have evaluated those operations all the way down to one number, and that's 5.